Hey, it's Sandy from Sandy Beach Bum, and I'm about to start a new project today, and this is something just completely out of my own head. I haven't seen it done, but I wanted to try this. I've been thinking about it for a while. So I've got a cup of clear resin here, and what I want to do is pour the resin clear and then add the India ink and kind of swirl it out. And today I'm going to be working with India ink in blue, which is a dark blue. And then I got a new India ink in the mail today, and it's a misty blue, and it's an iridescent. So I thought it would be fun to try that. So let's get started. So I have a cup mixed here. I'm using my new spatulas to mix it up with, which I'll link to uh, in the product descriptions below. Um, and I'm really liking it. I feel like I get a, a better mix out of it. I can also keep my hands out of the... Um, resin when I'm doing it with a popsicle stick they're quite short and so consequently I tend to get resin on my gloves a lot whereas this is a lot easier to not because I'm not um, I'm not uh, getting down into the cup so low okay so I poured uh, pretty much three quarters of it in there right now and now I'm going to just add little bits of color and I'm going to swirl the color. So I'll get a couple popsicle sticks here. So I have a couple popsicle sticks here and uh, let's get started and see what happens. I'm going to use just the tiniest dot three of them and then I'll do three dots of the iridescent. And we'll see what happens. Okay. seem to want to be doing too much. That's the light one. Let's see what happens with the dark one. I'll do this so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just swirling it through, see what happens. Kind of like that swirliness of it. Okay, let's try a little bit more of the light blue because that's really not showing up. So I'm going to add more of that. Okay, let's see now if we can get that to really move. seems to behave differently with the resin than the non-pearl. That's fine. It's all an experiment. So far I've been pretty lucky with the experiments, so I have to say I feel like things have really gone well for me. Even the ones that I thought were a disaster have ended up turning out really cool. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the rest of the resin to this. I'm going to pour it right over top. Maybe that will aid in the movement. See what happens. Push it out a little further. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, now I'm going to add crystals all around the edge. I'm not going to do glass because my glass is slightly aqua colored, this glass here, and I don't really want to see that. So what I'm going to do instead is add a bunch of crystals. And I actually have some new larger ones. So I ordered a bag of these larger crystals and when they came, they were too big. I thought they were too big, but you know what? I'm gonna try them in here because who knows? They could look really cool. So I'm gonna add them. Oops, don't want that one there. Let's move him over there. Okay. And then amongst those, I'm going to add a whole bunch of little sparklies. which I usually like to do with my hands, but in this case, I'm going to do it with, uh, I forgot to do this, I'm just gonna do this now. I'm gonna do it with a spoon this time. All right, here's my spoon. We're just gonna add loads and loads of these on this one. Way more than I've ever used on one before. Right, that's a lot so we're gonna let this sit for a while probably four to five hours I would think and then because I don't want this one to drip a lot at all actually uh, and then we'll put it over the bottle and see what we get quick and easy project let's see what happens Thank you.